Hello Almighty. Today I am going to recap a 2022 movie named, Black Adam, spoilers ahead, watch out and enjoy. The movie begins 5000 years ago, in the city of Kondak which was under the tyrannical rule of King Ahk Tun, who intended to create the crown of Sabak, which is known to give the wearer great power. After enslaving his people and forcing them to dig for, Eternium, which is the magical crystal needed to create the crown, a young boy leads the slaves to revolt against him. When the boy is given the power of Shazam, transforming him into Kondak's heroic champion Teth Adam, he kills Ahk Tun and ends his reign. The palace was destroyed. In the present day, Kondak is oppressed by the Intergang. Archaeologist Adriana Tomaz tries to locate the crown of Sabak, with the help of her brother Karim, and colleagues Samir and Ishmael. As Adriana obtains the crown, they are ambushed by the Intergang, killing Samir in the process. Adriana accidentally reads an incantation which awakens Adam from his slumber, who subsequently slaughters most of the Intergang troops. After an Intergang soldier shoots an Eternium rocket at Adam which renders him comatose, it is revealed that Ishmael is an Intergang member who intends to take the crown for himself. Government official Amanda Waller learns of the incident and contacts Carter Hall aka Hawkman to assist in taking Adam into custody. Hawkman is accompanied by his fellow members of the Justice Society of America, consisting of Dr. Fate. Cyclone, an Adam Smasher, to stop Adam. Adriana sees an inscription on an inner part of the crown which states, Life is the only way to death. Adriana's son Eamon sees Adam as Kondak's hero, but Adam denies it and departs. Wanting to prove to Kondak that their champion has reawakened, Eamon makes a ruckus with the Intergang, successfully leading Adam to intervene and overpower them. <laughs> The JSA arrive in time to stop Adam from doing further destruction. As they fight, Fate senses that Adriana has the crown of Sabak. They manage to stop Adam for a while before he flees to the ruins of Ancot's palace. The JSA ask Adriana to give them the crown, but she declines until they tell her the truth that Adam was the one who lost control of his power 5,000 years ago and destroyed most of Kondok. The crown is given to Eamon, who takes it back home. Ishmael is there with Kareem, and reveals his true colors. Eamon runs away from Ishmael, who shoots and wounds Kareem, and chases Eamon. Meanwhile, Adriana and the JSA meet Adam, and attempt to convince him that he can be a hero to Kondok, before Eamon calls Adriana, who pleads to Adam to save him. Adam immediately comes to the rescue, but Ishmael manages to abduct Eamon and flees on an Eternium bike. Adam tries to rescue Eamon by dealing with the Intergang on bikes to no avail. As Adam goes back to Adriana's home, Hawkman manages to capture two Intergang members and interrogate them about their hideout. Adam uses brute force to interrogate both of them and learns where the Intergang's hideout is, but his way of interrogation enrages Hawkman. As Adam and Hawkman fight, they find that Eamon hid the crown of Sabak in plain sight. They intend to use the crown to trade with Eamon and must fight side by side to save him. On their way, Fate reveals to Hawkman of his premonition about Hawkman's death. They reach Ishmael, who reveals that he is the last descendant of King Ancotton, wanting his rightful place in the throne, demands the crown, which Adriana willingly gives to save Amon's life. Unfortunately, Ishmael betrays his part of the deal by shooting Eamon and putting the crown on himself. As Adam tries to save Eamon, he loses control again and destroys the hideout with his power, until the JSA protects Eamon and Adriana as Ishmael dies in the process. Guilt-ridden, Adam flees to the ruins again. There, he reveals to Hawkman that it was actually Harut, his son, who was Kondak's champion. Knowing that Harut was invincible, the king's men executed Harut's family instead, killing Isis and mortally wounding Adam in the process. Harut gave his power to Adam to save him, but Ancot's archer managed to kill the now powerless Harut. Enraged, Adam slaughtered all of the king's men, before he was summoned by the wizards of Shazam, who imprisoned him after deeming him unworthy. Feeling incapable of becoming Kondak's champion and protecting it, Adam then surrenders to the JSA 
who take him to Waller's underwater prison. Soon after, fate continues to see the ominous premonition. It is later revealed that Ishmael intentionally made Adam kill him so that he can be reborn as Savak, which he succeeds in doing so, and arises from the underworld to Kondok to claim his throne. The JSA arrive in time trying to stop Savak, who summons the undead to Kondok. Adriana and Eamon fight them, with Kareem joining them. Eamon asks for the people of Kondok to fight together against the undead for Kondak's freedom. The JSA prepare to face Savak in Ancot's ruins. However, fate creates a magical force field which forbids Hawkman, Cyclone and Atom Smasher from coming into the ruins, and reveals that Hawkman's death can be avoided, with fate's sacrifice. Fate then fights Savak alone, and at the same time uses astral projection to release Adam from his suspended animation so Adam can help them. Adam manages to escape the prison, but Savak kills Fate. Fate's death causes the force field to disappear, allowing Hawkman, Cyclone and Adam Smasher try to fight Savak, who overpowers them. Just as he is about to kill the JSA, Adam arrives, and engages Savak, but is slowly losing as Savak's power can harm him. Hawkman uses Fate's helmet to create magical duplicates and spells, having learned from Fate, to help Adam kill Savak, ultimately stopping the undead. The JSA depart on good terms with Adam, who accepts his new role as protector of Kondok rather than its ruler. In a post-credits scene, Waller communicates with a defiant Adam, warning him about forces ready to stop him, before he is confronted by Superman. Black Adam. We should talk. Don't forget to subscribe and support for more recaps like this. Thanks for watching.